wouldn't it be cool to be able to connect Google Sheets to ChatGPT and create custom GPT that pulls live data? Well, let's go ahead and do that. So first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna head over to a spreadsheet. So we've got this example spreadsheet set up here with just 12 rows of data and then a total here. Uh, and essentially what I want you to think about here is being able to use live data from Google Sheets. So that might be a stock ticker or it might be sales data, numerous pieces of options for the data. And then we're gonna be able to query that in, in a uh, custom GPT in ChatGPT. So let's get into it. Um, first thing we're gonna do, need to do is create the app script. So I'm gonna head on over to here and I'll provide this script in the description. But essentially, there's two things you'll need to change, the sheet name and the cell name. Um, you can also use ChatGPT to build this out if you wanted more cells to show in the output. Um, but for now, we're just gonna stick with this. So I'm gonna copy it. I'm just gonna check my sheet names called example. I'm gonna head into extensions, app scripts. Then I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in here. I'm gonna hit save. And then I'm just gonna move myself out of the way. I'm gonna click on deploy, new deployment. I'm gonna select a web app. I'm gonna have anyone and let's call this test. I'm gonna hit deploy. Then I'm gonna go through an authorization process. So go ahead and authorize it and press allow. And then we're gonna need this URL. So I'm just gonna copy that. I'm gonna leave it open in that tab and I'm just gonna show you how this looks in terms of an output. So we've got some pretty basic JSON here and we've got the value here, which is the value from this cell. Pretty cool, right? Now we'll think about how we could integrate that with ChatGPT. So I'm gonna head on over to GPTs and I'm gonna go into create and I can build this out. So um, there's obviously information that I can put in here, whether it pertains to stocks, whether it pertains to sales data. Um, but the, the cool thing I'm gonna to go to here is actions and create new action. Um, I'm then gonna need to create a schema and um, there is some examples here, um, but I've also provided the schema here uh, that you'll need. The only thing you'll need to change is this URL. So I'm gonna take that from here. and I'm gonna just plunk that in here. And then I'm gonna copy all of this, head on back in to my schema. I'm gonna paste it in here no authentication and you're going to see get cell value pop up here and then going to press the the test button uh, and the first time i test this um it's going to pop up with this i'm going to just press always allow and then all being well we get the value ah, okay cell a1 it's not quite a1 we can we can fix that but we get the value from here uh, and what I want you to think about is how useful that could be. So you've got a database, you could then, you know, this JSON you could build out, you could then add in here customer service questions, and all of a sudden you've got a, a live GPT that, that links directly with your Google Sheet. So pretty simple, everything's in the description that you need. Good luck and feel free to share any GPTs that you make. Thank you.